Hello, it's Deborah. It's just one day to go until Eclipse Day. And did you know this is a supermoon eclipse? The instant of this month's new moon, when the moon will be covering the sun, will fall in early afternoon on Monday for eastern and central North America. But today's moon is special too. It's at perigee, its closest point to Earth for this month. And a new or full moon at perigee is measurably bigger in our sky than a moon at its farthest from Earth. It's what we call a supermoon. So supermoons don't have to be full moons. They can be new moons too. April's new supermoon with the moon at perigee today is the reason tomorrow's total solar eclipse will last so long. The longest totality will happen over Mexico. It'll last 4 minutes and 28 seconds. Many major U.S. cities will get about 4 minutes of darkness, all because the moon is closest to Earth one day before the eclipse. Now think about the moon on our sky's dome. Maybe you've watched it inch toward the sunrise over the past several mornings. Here's April 3rd's moon, and here's the moon on April 4th and on April 5th. By tomorrow, April 8th, the moon will have moved so far in its monthly orbit around Earth that it'll cross in front of the sun. Those along a narrow track across the globe who have clear skies will see the much-anticipated last total solar eclipse to cross North America until the year 2045. And it'll be a supermoon eclipse.